Hi everybody, yeah, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yeah, today this, I don't even know what we're doing. I just turned the camera on because I was just playing some of my music. And was, can I turn you? Yeah. You know, you can see my, well, you can see my table, my messy table. I was playing some music. This is my SoundCloud where I have like all my songs posted that I wrote. And yeah, I don't pay for the pro, the pro, Blech. the pro plan which where you can like post unlimited amounts of music so yeah there's the new song i just wrote the i believe yeah i had two people listen to my songs but yeah we, i was playing my music yeah i have like different pictures posted and there's the song i wrote for my son so i posted a picture of him but yeah we were listening to music and i thought this it would be fun my daughter every time i'll, I'll play my songs because like I told you in one of my past videos, I really don't listen to music, but when I do want to listen to some music, I play my songs. I like my songs. And I was playing one of my songs, my song, You're My Best Friend. I thought it would be fun to turn on the song. My, da my daughter usually gets up and dances when I'm playing my music. So I'm hoping she'll get up and start dancing. And I thought we could go out there and dance with her and I'll sing along with the song. You know, I thought just, I thought it would be fun. Just something to do to start off this just to start off this video so we all got to get up and get moving for how long is this song three minutes and 35 seconds we got to get off our butt and dance with Josie I'm hoping she will st get up and start dancing again so we'll we'll see how this goes so I'm gonna go ahead and start the song how loud, how loud do I have? I have it at 57%. We'll turn it up to 74% because, you know, it is a at-home recording, so the sound might be a little distorted because, you know, I don't have, like, a sound booth and stuff like that. So, you know, you get those bad noises from, like, if you get your mouth too close to the microphone, you get the kind of noise and stuff. Yeah, that happens quite often with my at-home made songs. But yeah, we'll, we'll start this off. We'll see if she gets out there and starts dancing. If she starts dancing, we'll go out there and join her. But if she don't get up and start dancing, then I guess this is going to be a very short video. And then we'll go into doing something else. So let's see what happens. I'm starting it right now. Good dance. She's getting up. Do you know the tale of a story I tell? Please listen, have you lived your year in frustration and fear? I made it my mission, you can rely on me and you know I'll be around. Now come on, dance! Come on. If you could stumble, I'll help you off the ground. You better be up dancing with us. Yes. You never have to fear, I'll be right here. You never have to hide, I'll be by your side. Through thick and thin, together we blend. Yeah, hand in hand. You're my best friend. You, you're my best friend. You say hi. Now dancing, dancing. No one around, no, you're never alone. Cause I'm with you, and if you need a lot, guide you on home. Begin, cause you can rely on me, and you know I'll be around. You should stumble. I'd help you off the ground Cause you never have to fear I'll be right here You never have to hide I'll be by your side Thick and thin Together we'd win yeah, Hand in hand You're my best friend Yo, you're my best friend We're almost done. <laughs> Been a wreck. Were you happy 
be your sad I would dry your tears you follow along and winding road at the end can't rely on me and you know you're around you should stumble I'd help you off the ground okay we're almost done people a little longer you never have to fear you never have to hide through thick and thin yeah hand in hand you're my best friend oh you're my best friend Whew. that was fun Whew. tina hasn't danced in a long time Let's turn it off. Okay, that was fun. We danced with Josie. Oh, Tina's out of shape, as you can tell. But that was fun. That was something different. Josie's sitting back down. Josie's not out of breath. Tina is. Tina is out of breath. Sippy, sippy. Hmm. I thought that would be fun. And if you enjoyed it and you would like to see it in a, you know, another video, let me know down in the comments. If you thought it was stupid, say, no, Tina, don't, don't do that again. Then I will leave it out of future videos. But I thought it would be something different to do. But anyways, yeah, that was just a little something I thought, hmm. I have all these songs. I never do anything with them except for play them at the piano. And I was like, let's do something with one of them. And I just chose the one that I knew was a popular one of mine that I wrote, which was Do You're My Best Friend. And so that's the one that I chose. And it has a fast beat and you can actually dance to it. But, you know, but I do have other songs that are fast. So if you enjoyed doing this, if you enjoyed like the little three minute you know get up and dance and we'll do it again in the future just let me know down in the comments so what are we gonna do today well i did get my shots as you can tell i'm sure you can tell that i'm out there dancing so i must feel better i am feeling a lot better my shots are like magic <laughs> they make me feel so much better we are gonna come do a come clean with me i guess because there are a lot of things i want to do there are a lot of videos i want to film because as you can tell in the last couple weeks when the shot had completely worn off and I was in agony, I just didn't have the mm, to want to do any kind of shooting, filming videos. Luckily, I had some that I had filmed ahead of time that I, because that's what I usually do. I usually film a bunch of them, have them on my computer and so that I'm not like being forced to, you know, rush and film out videos so that I have them, you know, to film each day you know, I film it and then post it. You, do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you do because I'm confusing myself. I usually do because I'm, I'm weird like that. But, but yeah, so, um, yeah, my kitchen's a little messy. I did, I had it spotless yesterday, which you couldn't tell by looking at it. This is what happens. It's like, it just gets dirty overnight every single day. Yeah, we're gonna move over here to the cleaning stool. The cleaning chair, I don't have. I don't have a uh, hard candy in my mouth, lozenge, just cough drop. So I grabbed a, a cereal bar before I started this video. And I just remembered as I was grabbing my cereal bar, I think the, um, I think the competition's over. Let me check. Because I haven't even chose, chosen, oh, okay, it was just the thing behind me. I haven't even chosen a winner yet. Let me go see if it's done. 
Oh no. It's still going. I thought I had I ended it. Well, I th no, actually, I think I ended it today. But it's still, it ends in 11 hours, so. I only have two entries. <laughs> hey, it's better than none. That's what I gotta say. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Yep, I got two total entries for the earrings and the necklace. But, unbeknownst to you guys, there are gonna be some surprise goodies in that giveaway. Yeah, that's a surprise. It was a surprise I didn't tell you. Yeah, so those two people that entered are going to be in for some free goodies that they didn't know about. They'll just have to wait and see. You won't see this video, though, until after the video. The giveaway is over. There, I'm going to turn the light on so that you can see me better and I can see you. All my cover doors are open. Sorry, Jennifer, I don't even know if you can see that. I don't think you could. I think it was behind the camera. I got cereal bar floating around inside my mouth. As I've told you, I usually run these come clean with me for about 30 minutes. And mainly that is because it's easier for me to edit them and post them. I'm just picking up some garbage that is on the floor here you can come over here and see my mess that is on this counter and yeah, this came from Josie this is Josie mess it was now I'm going into regular mess Ugh. and there's ice cream or what was ice cream inside that bowl Anthony, he had some, um, what do you call it, oatmeal last night for a snack. He had some chicken <laughs> for a snack. I only have one of my cups left, which sucks. That sucks. And we have some towels here. I'm saying they're dirty, so I'll throw them in the back room. Yeah, Anthony is doing the laundry. Yeah, Jellybean has some food down there that she needs to eat. And you may be wondering, Tia, you got your shots. You're feeling great. Why are you sitting down and cleaning? Because of fat, that's why. <laughs> I am a fat girl, and it makes it easier for me. I can do a lot more. I can't do a lot of bending over either. So, if you're wondering, that is the reason. Maybe when I've gotten down to like 240 pounds, I can actually do all my cleaning standing up. This just makes it easier for me. Yeah, I've got a few stray noodles on the stove. I made macaroni and cheese for dinner last night. Yeah, when we have anything pasta related, we don't have it as a side dish. It is usually a main dish. If we have macaroni and cheese, it's all we have. If we have pasta salad, that is all we have. Pasta, to me, is a main dish. It is not a side dish because it is very fattening. So when I make macaroni and cheese, I make enough of it to where it is enough to be I'll just, that's it. That's all you have. But I'm trying to think of something to put in the macaroni and cheese because I know Holly um a friend of mine well, uh, used to be a friend of mine she used to she put um like hot dogs in her macaroni and cheese and i had tried that and nobody liked it my son had tried spam he didn't like that so if you guys have any ideas other than spam and hot dogs put in macaroni and cheese let me know down in the comments because we tried that and nobody liked it I hear Josie out there whispering something. Who knows? I'm trying to see if the dryer's still running. I can't tell. We are going into the dishwasher because we have to load it. My son and I have got to this thing. He'll empty the dishwasher, I load the dishwasher. And he had emptied it for me today. So now all I have to do is load it. 
my straw is stuck in the top. So let's get that out. Okay. Yeah, she's still whispering out there. I don't know what she's whispering. Let's get some hot water running. Get some of this like chocolate. Because we had like half a Sundays. It was like a we made um, Anthony maybe like a banana split. You know, it had like chocolate. Um, well, he cut up a banana, he cut, sliced a banana in half, put three slices of, um, three scoops of ice cream. And then we didn't have any strawberry, but um, strawberry topping, but we did have like slices of pineapple. And we had um, hot fudge, and so he put pineapple on it, hot fudge, and then some whipped cream. And it was delicious. It looks like it has a piece of pineapple in here that I need to throw away. So, yep, he made that for us for dessert one night. Josie just had the ice cream. She didn't have anything with it. Because she likes just plain ice cream. And trying to melt the ice cream that got left behind in the bowl. You know, these uh, bacon sheets in this sink, they have to be washed out by hand. Unless they're s the smaller ones, but I can't tell by looking at them. So, we'll see. I can tell you this one here will have to be washed out by hand. But this other one here, this one might be able to go in the dishwasher. This is my watermelon cutting board. Because I bought another watermelon and my son sliced it up for me last night. I'm seeing if it fits in there without the... Yeah, okay. Just making sure the spinner in there ain't going to hit it. And it did not. So it is fine. Yeah, I made macaroni and cheese last night. So this is dirty and needs to go in here. And I put the knife on the top shelf so nobody's accidentally getting stabbed by it yeah i heard somebody whistling i don't know if it was josie or if my nephew just came home i guess i'll find out soon Yep, just rinsing off the dishes so I can put them in the dishwasher. Oh yeah, these ones here too. I gotta wash that out by hand as well. Cause it is too, it's too tall for the, the spitty thing. No, they had a pit on it. Don't wanna get that in the dishwasher. That would be a bad, bad thing. Let's see if there's any more silverware in the sink. Nope. We are good. So, can I reach you from here? Ugh, it's heavy. And I'm going to put this in there to soak for a moment. Just to get any like noodles that are stuck to the side and stuff so it doesn't go into the dishwasher. And I want to get this cheese off the ladle that dried up on it. And I know there are some dishes on the sink or table. I can see them from here. So let's go get them. Yep, I got you can see my messy table. It has coffee in it. I better dump that one spilling. I think that was actually the coffee I was drinking. <laughs> oh well, I'll have to get another cup. And we gotta clean off the table. Hi. Okay, let's put 
put this stuff in here. Bunch of garbage, it needs to be thrown away. Okay. This is one of my favorite cups. I need to go on haul or see if they have the pink one still. Because I want the pink one too. Because I like them. Okay, just I was just taking a quick perusal. Yeah, the um the sink is filling up with water because I have the drain blocked by the cookie sheets and stuff. Okay, I think this is rinsed out well enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as there be no stray noodles. I'm going to put this one in first. There. That way this, I have that one sitting straight down. I'll just show you. See, I have that one sitting. Come on, back up a little bit. See, I have this one sitting straight down, and then I have this one, you know, leaning on top of it. So now let's unblock the water, because this water is hot. So then it drains. I gotta wash the counters anyway, so let's take them out. I'll let that drain a little bit. I know my little my little shield thingy in there has food debris in it, and it's making it slower to go down. So I'm gonna let the water drain out. There it goes. Okay, yeah, this is good enough. It still has a little bit of cheese on it, but that's fine. Put that in there. Yeah, this thing has like some watermelon bits in it and some pits in it. It needs to be emptied into the garbage bag. Okay. So now I can clean that off. There are some more things in the sink that needs to go into that strainer. Get in there. Yeah, there are some stray noodles and a few pits from the watermelon that I did not want going down the drain. Okay. So I'm just going to strain this off real quick. There. Now the sink is rinsed out. These have to be washed by hand. Let's see what's in this bowl. I, th I thought it was heavy and I was correct. It be a spoon. I think this has some um, cereal maybe or grease. Looks like cereal to me. Some hardened cereal. We'll let that soak in some hot water for a little bit. We'll let that soak in the hot water. Yeah, this is for me washing off the counters yesterday. I saw something fall there, baby. This thing here. Okay, we'll let that thing soak for a moment. I still need to go out into the kitchen, or rather the living room, and see if there's any dishes that I can put into the... Excuse me. That I can put into the dishwasher, so I'll be right back while I go do that. Yep, we had a whole bunch of dishes out there. I don't think I actually got them last night when I did the kitchen yesterday. I still need to grab Joe's. Yeah, cleaning the living room. That is a whole other story. 
Maybe we'll get to it today. I don't know. We shall see. I'm gonna need, I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I wanna have, um, make myself another cup of coffee that I dumped by mistake or get a soda. I will have to decide that soon. But I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Right now I'm gonna finish loading this dishwasher. Here, you can watch me. You can watch the loading of the dishwasher. And Josie had some popcorn for a snack last night. I bought a, um, a thing of chicken Alfredo from Aldi's. And it's, it's just um, in the freezer section. It's just like a bag of it. It has like chicken and pasta, carrots, peas, and of course Alfredo sauce. And I'm going to tell you right now, do not buy it. It was disgusting. Um, it had, the, um, I think the most, it had lots of peas in it for one. And it had lots of carrots. It had maybe 10 pasta noodles, 10 pasta noodles in it. And it had, um, the chicken was okay. I mean, if you like chicken, I'm not a big fan of chicken, but even I was able to eat it. Um, you could barely taste the Alfredo sauce in it. It tasted just like um, someone threw some noodles and broccoli and, you know, um, peas and carrots together because there was like base, there was ba um, basically no taste to it at all. It was disgusting. So I don't know. When are you, somebody might have tried it and liked it, but I'm telling you now, if you haven't tried it, I mean, you, you're more than welcome to buy it if you want to, but. Trust me when I say it was disgusting. I could not eat it. Because I had made me that last night for dinner. And, I mean, this bowl is probably full to here because I couldn't finish it. It was disgusting. I mean, I wish I could show you how much peas was in it. It's like they took an entire can of peas and added it to it. Probably because it was the cheapest vegetable. It just had a lot of peas. I'm not a fan of peas. I can, I can handle peas to, like in vegetable beef soup, you know, Campbell's vegetable beef soup. I can handle peas in it because it's not all peas, but this this stuff was like it was all peas. And, and when I'm saying there was like maybe 10 pot pieces of pasta in it, I'm not exaggerating. There was like 10 pieces of pasta. It was disgusting. I will never buy it again. I will stick with my homemade chicken Alfredo. And now I want to buy the stuff to make it because I bought it because I was craving some chicken Alfredo because when, when I make chicken Alfredo or if, if I eat chicken Alfredo, I like putting hot sauce in it. It just gives it a, a completely different flavor. And in my opinion, it's delicious. And I had figured, you know, no matter, I mean, if, even if the Alfredo wasn't all that great, you know, adding the hot sauce to it would still make it edible. But the fact that it had no Alfredo sauce flavor at all, it was just, just like vegetables and noodles mixed together. That all I could taste was hot sauce when I mixed hot sauce with it. 
Yeah, it was really, really bad. I'm trying to get the stuff off the sides. I think that's good enough. Yep, I had some watermelon last night. I'm going to have to run this dishwasher because it's almost full. Did I get you emptied out? Maybe the sprayer will get it out better. I think it's hardened on cereal. Or maybe it's... um. Hardened up oatmeal. I mean, that's what it is. Well, whatever it was, I got it all out. It was not wanting to come out. As soon as I finished loading this dishwasher, I could probably run it because it is pretty full. It is, it is, it is. It is pretty full. So let's run it. Turn that off. Get the dishwasher soap in. Okay. Hopefully I got all the dishes. I don't see any more. Start it. Mm -hmm. Let me take a little nibble. Just a little one. Oh, I'm running over the garbage bed. Okay, we need to wash some, or we'll wash these pots and pans, or these pans, not pots and pans. I need to get a towel so that I can dry them off when I'm done washing them. son, when he comes downstairs, he can take care of these for me. He is in charge of the taking care of the dishes. I am in charge of the cleaning of the kitchen. So he helps on his days off. Huh. And simple and easy. Yeah, these are the ones I got from um, Holler. I got like three different sizes for six dollars. And the smallest one, that, that's the one I turned into my um, cutting board for my watermelon. And I didn't do that on purpose. I just wasn't thinking at the time. When I went to slice up the watermelon, I just grabbed one, which happened to be one of my new ones. And slicing up the watermelon left cut marks on the, the thing. And I was like, oh, well, I guess it's my new designated cutting board for my watermelon. Oh, well, I'm trying to get these little watermelon pieces into the strainer so that I can dump them into the garbage. Thank you. 
going to rinse it off again real quick. In there. Good enough. Good enough. Anthony can take care of these when he comes downstairs. I have to clean off the counter by the coffee maker. It does have some some yuckies on it. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you back up. I'm gonna bring back up the legs. Almost done. One more leg to go. Okay, we got you down. I have a pot holder here I need to take care of. I'll bring it back up. And we have cereal. It needs to go up here. Josie's tea. I kind of I just put the tea here. Oh, I've got a piece of garbage. Not sure what I'm gonna make for dinner tonight. Taking care of the plates that are on the counter. I think I did that. I think I took them out to get to the a bowl. And some of jelly beans trees. Okay. I just gotta wipe this counter off real quick. Get my last oil. Pull the bottom of it. Here we go. Okay. Much better. Oh, I forgot a stray noodle that fell out of the the pot yesterday as I was making dinner. So I gotta just wipe off this. Here, I'll turn you around. So you can watch me clean the stove. Yeah, it's not too bad. Still needs a little bit of a little bit of help. Gotta be careful, jelly beans food's right below. I think I'll actually move it with my foot. I don't want to get no food debris or chemicals in it. Okay, there we go. The other side, I really don't bake on. It might have some crumbs on it or something. So I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick. I think it has some paint on it, which would not be a surprise to me at all because we are messy painters in this house. Yes, we are. So I think the counters look fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Anthony needs to take care of the those things for his uh, mommy. And we just need to get... Where is my broom and dustpan? What? Nope, that's my... That'd be my cane. I think it's out in the living room. I do believe. I do believe so. But I'm going to bring you down. Because I had you up mainly for the purpose of having the legs on the floor that is why i had the um the neck all the way up but we don't need it all the way up as we're sitting next to the table and we do have some garbage on the table we're going to take care of quickly i'm going to put my creamer in the fridge because i don't think i'm going to have another cup of coffee i'll probably have a soda pop so Now, I don't want to put it on the, the bottom of the door because that would just require me having to bend over. And I don't want to have to bend over because that's, especially in the morning, that is when my back hurts the most. And even though it's not hurting, well, it's still a little sore. Yesterday it didn't hurt at all, which was amazing to me. But this morning it was a, it was just a tad bit sore. And I don't want to have to bend over the first thing in the morning when I wake up. 
And Ryan has a basket of clothes here. He needs to take care of. They've been out here all week. Yeah, we have some garbage here on the table. Peanut butter, that needs to get taken care of. I usually make Josie peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for her breakfast. You know, Anthony was looking for that because he had cut his um, his ankle. And it looked infected. And I told him to put some Neosporin on it. Antibacterial thingy, whatever you call it. And so that is what he did. And he left the tube on the table. And then yesterday, when I told him to put some more on, he couldn't find it. And it was right there in front of him the entire time. He just didn't look hard enough. I got these tape, or not, I call it, um, I did it again. I call it tomatoes, potatoes. I call it potatoes, tomatoes, all the time. I always do it too. I want to take these out of the bag so they can breathe because I don't want them to go bad. And um, I actually got some good ones this time. It's one of them's for my BLTs. Yeah, they're really good ones. And my other one is I'm gonna eat it as a snack. I love, I love slicing up, t not potatoes. I love slicing up tomatoes and just sprinkling a little bit of salt and pepper on them and just eating them just like that. Mm, mm, mm. It's delicious. Yes, it is. That bag from the BOK, I don't want to say the word because Josie would be like, are you going to get the BOK? Yes, she would be. She'd be wanting that. Yeah, my son asked me if I would go get the MC of D's. I told him, oh, I'll think about it. He was watching a YouTuber or something that was making hamburgers or something. I'm not exactly sure what he was watching, but it gave him the cravings for some of the MC of D's. And so he was like, would you get it today? And I'm like, oh. I don't know. I don't know if I want to drive all the way over there. Because it's like on the other side of town. I was like, I'll think about it. So We shall see. Okay, we got some cereal here that needs to get taken care of. But that stuff requires me to stand up and I'm lazy. <laughs> but yeah, this video is 44 minutes long. I think I'm going to cut it off here. And I still need to take care of some stuff on the table. I might have my son hit the dryers done anyway, so he needs to switch them out, do the old switcheroo. And I think I'll have him take care of these few things on the table for his mummy, because I did everything else. Because as you can see, the counters are clean. Dishwasher is a run-in. So I think my son can come help out a little bit. It is his weekend off. It is Sunday, actually. So I'll have him come down and take care of the cereal and the peanut butter for me. And I'll take care of the bread. I think I can do that much because I just have to roll myself backwards and open up a drawer and throw it in. I can do that. I'm pretty good at that kind of stuff. I'm pretty good at being lazy. Yeah, I am. Uh, we bought these. Um, Anthony, he needs to take care of his hat. We bought these things. Let me see if I can grab one. Here it is. This is um, it's like a really flexible kind of plastic. My son needs to put it together. We're going to make a little play area for Willow. So she, um, I'm planning on putting it in front of the the main, the bottom door, leaving the bottom the bottom door open so she can come and go as she pleases. And then I'm, I'm, I want to have it come out like this come out and then go this way and then go sideways behind the front door that is the plan whether it works or not we don't I don't know I think it will It'll give her a little you know play run area but yes but I want to also want to get some really thin carpet to lay down something that's like easily I also I want to get a piece of carpet that I can put underneath her cage because she gets her straw everywhere and it is nearly impossible to get out of my thick shaggy carpet 
So I want to get something that's easier to sweep up on. So maybe even some AstroTurf or something like that. But yep, that's the plan. That's what I picked up her up for her little play area. Just need Anthony to put it together for her. But yeah, so I'm going to cut this off here. So don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And here you'll see my little picture. So click on it. Click on if you haven't subscribed yet. Because I post new videos almost every day. Just hands. <laughs> Until next time. Bye.